What's good? What's good? In the wake of yet another YouTube strike for St Steven Crowder, I feel compelled to make this video. As I always say, the people doing the censoring are never the good guys. And I don't agree with Stephen on everything, but I do agree with the way in which he approaches topics and the transparency in which he projects, because I feel like transparency is something the left does not do. And I hate that I'm always ragging on the left, but there is an insidious movement growing from within the left that legitimately scares me. I'll be honest, I honestly believe if I keep going down this road and I keep speaking truth to power, I believe I'll get jumped by some Antifa bitches. I believe I'm going to get jumped by people. I believe my physical safety is at risk. I know my psychological safety is because I am on the receiving end of a lot of abuse. But I have to keep going because the truth matters. And so when I talk about hypocrisy from the left, I want to provide two very clear examples of their hypocrisy and also connect them to the fact that Crowder is being censored because I believe it's no coincidence that people speaking the real truth are being censored. So it is my belief that his most recent channel strike was a result of addressing the Loudoun County, that's spelled L-O-U-D-E-N, Loudoun County sexual assault incident that has recently happened. I would encourage you to look into what happened, but I will give you a brief overview. A boy wearing a skirt with questionable identification in terms of where they align on the spectrum, sexually assaulted a 15-year-old girl in the girl's room, the restroom. It was proven. A kit was done. The principal of the school informed the father that this event had happened and said that they are going to take care of it internally. Now, I don't know about you, but if I got a call from a school saying my daughter was assaulted, sodomized in the bathroom of the school, that boy wearing a skirt would not be alive. And I realize that's a very controversial thing to say, but you got to stop covering for these people. And that's exactly what they did because this boy wearing a skirt went back to the school. There were no charges made. To, from what I understand, there is a potential second victim. And this is important, not important, but it's, it needs to be talked about because there is a deeper conversation not being had because of censorship and cancel culture. And that is the conversation around the mental health of the trans community as a whole. There are some alarming statistics that we should be talking about, but we're not allowed to because the trans community are just more useful idiots. They are props. They are pawns for the ruling class. This whole victim Olympics Marxist ideology is a ploy to drive divide among the people. You can look into all of this. It's all proven. This is a very unfortunate situation and it's being exacerbated by the fact that we cannot report on it. Let's talk about another example of leftist hypocrisy. The Timberview High School shooting that happened recently. An African-American young man 
got into some altercation at school, apparently went home, came back with a gun and shot four people. And within a day or two was released from jail on bail. Meanwhile, Kyle Rittenhouse is still in jail for defending himself, for legitimately defending himself. The left loves to scream about school shooters and how straight white men are like domestic terrorists, and yet they just let a black young man out of jail after shooting four people in a school shooting. That, that would be a mass shooter situation if he were not a black man. But because the left is trying to protect these victim classes of people because they need these victim classes of people to perpetuate their ideology. They need these people to rely on their disgusting ideals. The Democratic Party is fucking gross. Well, yeah, so is the GOP, but I am legitimately afraid of what is coming out of the Democratic Party. I'm seeing some very scary things that nobody will talk to me about. It is so hard. It is so hard to get anyone to have like an actual conversation with me. I made that video about the grape joke controversy that person won't have a conversation with me they'll want to call me out and they'll want to chastise me and they'll want to take the moral high ground of grape jokes are 100 percent never okay but then will not have a further conversation it's like you're wrong and you need to grow well it's like i want to grow but you're not having a conversation with me that's what the left does they sit atop this moral pedestal and cast stones at everyone that is perceived to be below them. But what they don't realize, and what I love about what hippie Jesus said, let he who is free from sin cast the first stone. Virtue signaling bitches dominate the leftist dialogue. And it's disgusting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know being angry isn't going to help people have conversations with me, but two examples. Please look into these and tell me how we're treating these cases at all in any way the same. We're not. The leftist cases are getting very special treatment. But this is, these are not the only cases at all. A lot of this stuff is happening, and I just want to use these two to highlight for you to go look into because there's a lot more. And if you see these, you might start seeing more. So thank you for listening. I'm sorry for getting heated. I really just want to have conversations. I'm lonely. I'm depressed. Like, and like so many people are but people are not able to have conversations. And I've even gotten to the point where I'm like, let's have a moderated conversation. So that way when others get heated, there can be someone to help kind of settle the tension because we need to break past these tension points. But we also need to pursue the truth. And until the left calls out their internal civil war, I just, I fear, I fear so much for my safety and for the country as a whole. <sighs> positive thoughts, positive thoughts. We can do this. We're going to win. It's going to be a hard spiritual war, but we're going to win. We're going to build the new earth. Thank you for listening.